What's a good MGP source bourbon? Your mom. Oh! <laughs> Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. <clears throat> hey, let's play a game. Yeah. If Daniel coughs, it's definitely Rona. Because <laughs> that's in my also, head. Also, <laughs> also to punish him for his insolence, I cleared off several shelves of whiskey. Oh, pff, yeah. You know what you did? Yeah. You make recompense, and I'll bring him back. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. All right. So here's the thing. Um, this one is a gift from patron saint and rep Jason Chow, but also from Shepard. <laughs> Jason Chow, and also Shepard, you patron saint of whiskey. Ding. Oh, glassware, how did I forget glassware? Ding. One more chance. There you go. So this is uh, Doc Beautiful. Swinson's Alter Ego Triple Cask. I've heard of Doc. Why have I heard of Doc Swinson? Uh, I don't know. I think we've done something from them before. Okay. But um, this is MGP bourbon that they took mm -hmm. and then they Casked it. cast it in other things. Now they the other things. Finished it in. Interesting stuff, I hope. Yeah. Okay. Sherry, both PX and Oro, so and Cognac. Okay. Uh, one of the bourbons was our Eleanor High Rye bourbon, okay. and the other bourbon was the 36% well, rye. Not literally. Just the same mash bill from yeah. MGP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. They didn't take um, one of our barrels after. If you're sourcing barrels from MGP, the two standard bourbon mash bills are the 21 rye and 36 rye. Um, they used both in this MGP blend, and then they finished it. Now, I'm not going to compare it to anything, because there's nothing to compare it to, because even our basic MGPs, won't taste like this. Yeah, it's gone through a few different Too many casts. steps. But it, there's a lot of whiskeys you can get on the counter that are MGP. There's a vanilla, there's a cola, there's a cherry. And yeah. then there's a, behind all of those things, which I totally agree, Yeah, is this sort of dry woodiness. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Which is what I very, that oaky quality. It is, smells really good. Very it's, often in the MGP stuff. It's five, six year old bourbon before they've added it into the finishing cask. Okay. Nice. So, so they it, weren't going for like easy out youth. Let's get something, yeah. make it fancy by finishing yeah, yeah. and throw it out the door. Because uh, we've had like the five to six year old MGP stuff. Yeah, that's really it's nice. really good. It's really nice. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I think those are the main flavors. There is Nilla, a got the cherry, some cola, the oakiness. There is a nut, a dried almond nutty kind of flavor. You said almond, not candied almond, dried almond. See, I could have been convinced of like a walnut. Yeah, no, I could, same better. category for, okay. in my, for the note that I'm picking up. Yeah. That would be an overlap. I'm going in. Mm, that's, that's tasty. Mm. So the bourbon, the classic bourbon cherry mm -hmm. is the first flush of flavor that I get. But then it gets more sweet. It goes deep into the richness of that cherry yeah. note. So it's like <clears throat> the first thing that it was, which has that classic bourbon and that classic Bourbon cherry note that shows up first, but then the finishing cask does show up towards the finish. That's is almost ninety six proof. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Is there some? Uh, there's some type of like baked, um, baking sweet spicy stuff in there. I'm thinking cinnamon. Yeah, you got your cinnamon in there. Maybe like a bready cinnamon. I'm actually thinking more nutmeg. Mm, I'm going in. I'm looking for the nutmeg. Yeah, that's highly drinkable. I say it's more of a brown sugar than a nutmeg. Brown mm. sugar and a cinnamon for me on towards the finish. I really like that. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, that's super good. Well done, dudes. And uh, Doc Swinson's. Where was the? It was just MGP, and then they just put on finishing stuff. Yeah. Okay. No blend on the front end. No. Straight MGP. Okay. See ya. Uh, okay. <laughs> fine. 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 We'll let that breathe a minute and see what it turns into. Mm -hmm. Connor Cooney, what's a respectable, not breaking the bank bottle of Johnny Walker you should have in your shel uh, shelf? Hey, uh, I think green label. I was going to say the green. Yeah. yeah. It's the one that it has the most mm. amount of smokiness. It's the whiskey drinkers Johnny Walker, well, I think, <laughs> like the malt drinkers. There like you if you like the malt. Right. Um, it's it's the most of the, the most malty of the Johnny Walkers. The green to me tastes like what I would expect a black to taste like. You say Johnny yeah. Walker black? Absolutely. Like, wait a minute, it's, I'm thinking like black, smoky flavors maybe. Yeah. No, those show up much more in the green. And uh, yeah, it's still a Johnny Walker, but it's more interesting. 
What do you think came first? You think just the Johnny Walker came first and that color was already taken? And so they're like, eh, I guess we'll I don't go know. green. I don't, yeah, I don't know what order they came out in. <laughs> but it's, uh, it'd be funny if they called the green um, the Johnny Walker. Never mind, this is the real black. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind, not that one. <laughs> Never mind, this is the real black. Forget about the other bike. It has an arrow on it that says, no, not that one. And they get everybody to always stock it next to the original black. <laughs> Uh, I have realized that throughout my whiskey journey, I've never tried any Johnny Walker. Okay. Uh, Michael Barca, new to whiskey, tried tasting for the first time this weekend. Weird question, maybe, but how should your nose be when you taste? Obviously, your mm. no, you need your nose to taste, but I tried closed, no taste. Wide open, ouch, did you like, did you spread the nostrils? Did you just yeah. get a little spectrum in there? Did you, what's, how'd, you, how'd you go wide open on the, on the nostrils? <laughs> I'm very, were there like Im instruments involved? Maybe just like took a deep breath. Like an aggressive flare? Yeah. Okay, very, in various points in between. Okay. Here's the short version. Hold on, no, this is very. very he tried a lot of things. I'm and very he stumbled onto the right line. about the techniques involved. Yeah. The instruments, the exact technique between we need a flow closed chart. and wide open and all of the variations in between. Yeah. There had to be some instrumentation yeah. involved. Uh, is there a recommended proper technique? Yeah. So, short version is mouth open, inhale through both mouth and nose at the same time. It's not that hard. But you want your glass close enough that you can smell all the whiskey, but not so close that it burns. So if it burns, when you inhale, you're too close, back it off a little. For me, it's resting right on the upper lip, right on the stash fluff, mm -hmm. resting right there. If you I actually go like that, then it's too far. You will no I'll notice that I'll get different smells by putting my nose in different places above the glass. Like, especially if I put my nose towards the top of the glass rim, mm -hmm. different things show up than on the bottom. Oh, and then I go back now. It's opened up a little bit. Chocolate. You get a chocolate? I get, mm -hmm. uh, it's almost like a peanut brittle. Yeah. Peanut brittle on the taste. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is not bad. I like the, what the finishing did to it, but also Me it too. is squarely recognizable as that classic yeah. MGP, but it did some interesting accents along the way. Wait, wait, wait four more seconds, and then if Dan doesn't do any cuts, we can hit eight minutes. Here's Done. the fighting, steal you drink. If you fight me and fight for a friend. You steal, may you steal your lover's heart. And if you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with us. us.